She takes people into the past to tell them the story how she become She-Hulk. She was on her way somewhere with her cousin, Hulk, and Bruce, tells her that his injured hand from a war is healing. I also had made a machine in my lab that keeps me in my human getup and don't let me change into Hulk. They were moving while talking but then a spaceship comes in front of their car. Jennifer gets scared to see it and loses her control on the car due to it, they get into an accident. Bruce was bleeding and Jennifer gets panicked to see him and touches him even he forbids her. Bruce's blood falls on her and she changes into She-Hulk because of it. Turning into She-Hulk, she runs toward the forest being enraged and then suddenly gets faint and falls down. She again becomes Jennifer when she comes to her senses. Now they move into a hotel from the forest and there, they wear clothes and get ready with the help of few girls. They were leaving but few boys arrive who start teasing them and Jennifer becomes furious at those boys. And she again turns into She-Hulk. Before she could do anything Bruce arrives and takes her with him. She awakes the next morning and finds herself Jennifer and moves to Bruce's lab while changing her clothes. Bruce was in the getup of Smart Hulk at this time. He tells Jennifer that we are on an island and this lab was presented me as a gift from Iron Man. Here, for many years I learned to control my Hulk getup but now my whole attention is on your training. Jennifer wants to be like before at any cost but Bruce can't do anything for her in this matter. As he was dealing with this Hulk getup for many years. Now he starts teaching her to control her Hulk getup and tells her for this, she has to control her anger. Jennifer can already do this very well as she was a lawyer. And discovers the thing for which he took 25 years to control, Jennifer can do it easily while changing into Hulk right now. Bruce feels jealous after knowing this but he encourages her and says that your training will take no time. Jennifer is seen as Jennifer when she awakes after turning into Hulk. Hulk awakes her while making noise due to it, she becomes furious and turns into She-Hulk and her bed breaks. Hulk makes her understand what kind of clothes and bed she will need now. Later, he teaches Jennifer the ways to fight. But, She-Hulk wants to go back to her home while changing into Jennifer to live the peaceful and ordinary life. Hulk says it will take time and you have to stay here until I believe that you can move into ordinary people. Jennifer was depressed because of it as her life changed in a single night. Hulk starts telling her about the benefits of Hulk powers to improve her mood. He says Hulks can drink a lot of beer at once that is impossible to do for a normal human. After it, they drink a lot of beer, now the next day, Jennifer was doing everything well in her training. She becomes Jennifer and adopts Hulk's getup whenever she wants but Hulk takes years to do this. Here we can say Hulk's training of years becomes beneficial for Jennifer. Otherwise, she would have to work hard if Hulk wouldn't alive. She was fed up of living here and wants her previous life, here, Bruce was making her understand and they start fighting. Now an amazing getup of Hulk and She-Hulk is seen, they were giving tough competition to each other. The island destroys as well as Hulk's bar that he loved so much. Then he asks She-Hulk to repair his bar when she becomes relaxed, after repairing it, Hulk allows Jennifer to go back. He is shown depressed while doing this because once again he will be alone. Jennifer is again shown in the next scene in present who moves to the court for fighting her case after telling this story. Meanwhile, an evil girl who was a villain arrives who has superpowers and starts spreading destruction. Now Jennifer has no other way so she changes into She-Hulk and saves everyone while fighting with the villain. Everyone discovers about her Hulk getup and she becomes famous in a short time. Even it was told about her in the news that how she has saved everyone while turning into She-Hulk. Jennifer wasn't liking anything because she doesn't want to become a superhero or famous. She just like her previous simple and old life. She believes the life of superheroes is tough as they help people and do hard work without money. Then she moves to the party that was arranged by her friends because she won the case and become She-Hulk. Everyone was happy meanwhile, Jennifer's boss arrives and says I have to talk to you. So come into Jennifer's getup from She-Hulk. Jennifer does this and because of it, she loses her balance and falls down. She was drunk and didn't recognize it in Hulk's getup. 
Her boss says you have won the case but the people think you won because of changing into She-Hulk. You saved the judge's life, so they made a decision in your favor, and this case was closed as a result. This isn't good for our company and I am terminating you because now you are a She-Hulk. Jennifer becomes astonished to hear this but handling herself she starts finding a new job. This was difficult for her as none was giving job to a She-Hulk. Now she was sitting being disappointed but then receives a message from her parents. They call her at dinner tonight, here she sits with her father and lights herself as her life was changed in last few days. She even says I wished I would have left Bruce there to die that day. Then maybe everything would be fine and I wouldn't have to bear all this. Her father encourages her and then, Jennifer, moves to face the problems with a new hope. Jennifer, was in a bar when the boss of the company she was fighting a case against arrived. He calls, Jennifer, to his office tomorrow while offering her job. Reaching there, she discovers they are opening a new department where she has to fight humans case having superpowers. Such humans are called, superhumans, and she has to be in, Hulk's, get up all the time on the job. Hearing this, Jennifer, says seeing in the camera why I always have to do the task that I don't want to. We feel bad for, Jennifer, but we also laugh at her situation. Well, she was told her first case will be for, Abomination, who was actually a huge enemy of, Hulk. He even tried to end, Hulk. Hulk, defeated him and put him in jail but now his imprisonment is completed. The people will make a lot of noise when he will be released. So, Jennifer's boss asks her to fight his case to prove him innocent in the court. Jennifer was panicked to do this because of Bruce, but her boss asks her to think once and to meet Abomination. Jennifer goes to meet Abomination to jail and Abomination doesn't leave any chance to prove himself innocent. He tells Jennifer, I was an ordinary human who want to help people with superpowers. But because of the experiment of the government I became an evil villain and Hulk became, hero. Now I am changed and want to spend a peaceful life and for this, I need your help. Jennifer, leaves while asking for time to think. Reaching home, she calls, Hulk and after telling him everything she asks for permission to work on this case. Hulk, agrees for this because he was feeling that, abomination, is changed now. Jennifer, feels good after hearing this. Jennifer calls her boss happily and tells him that she is ready to walk on this case. Meanwhile, her boss asks her to watch the TV and she sees Abomination escaped from jail and fighting somewhere. It means he isn't changed and was just acting in front of Jennifer. Seeing it, Jennifer again moves to meet Abomination in anger who was again arrested. Jennifer becomes furious at him that you lied to me and acted in front of me. But he tells her that he hasn't done this with his own will and the chief named Wong, is a magician who made me do this. Jennifer, asks her friend to discover Wong, and she discovers that he worked in a library before. Then she moves to meet Wong immediately to know why he asked, Abomination, to fight? There were news about, Jennifer, that she is fighting a wrong man's case and supporting him. Abomination, that can be a danger for the whole world. Jennifer starts handling her case and then Wong arrives who says what Abomination is saying is right. Actually, I become a magician and to know my powers I took Abomination to that club. So I can control my powers while fighting with him. She-Hulk tells Wong because of his this act Abomination will not get bail. But if you will say in the court that Abomination is innocent and you have taken him for fighting, he may escape. Wong agrees after hearing this and now, Abomination's case starts and the decisions were at his side. And he tells the judges that now I can control my Abomination get up. Then he shows them while changing into Abomination and everyone gets scared even he was in jail. The judges grant him bail seeing this but forbid him to come into Abomination's get up again. The media wasn't sparing Jennifer when she comes out after winning the case. Someone was complimenting her and someone was criticizing her, but, Jennifer, ignores both and flees. One of the old friends of Jennifer comes to the superhuman's office with a case against his friend. He says his friend is an elf means he isn't a human but another creature. He deceived me that's why I want to do a case against him, the next day, Jennifer, helps her colleague to win the elf's case. 
Then she finally comes on the TV after getting courage and shows her She-Hulk get up to people. A few people attack Jennifer when she was returning home at night. But she saves herself changing into She-Hulk, actually, they were trying to take her blood sample through an injection. The injection broke because of changing into She-Hulk and she escaped. After it, Jennifer and her colleague are shown happy in dancing. They were enjoying their victory. Now, She-Hulk's part 4 starts and a magician is shown. He was putting on his show and performing little magic tricks, and everyone was getting tired of seeing his useless magic. Then he was about to show them the huge magic trick of his show and calls a girl from the audience. She was named Medicine and the girl was drunk and she wasn't in her senses. The magician opens a portal while wearing a strange ring and the girl, Medicine, moves in it mistakenly. Then a scene is shown where Wong is sitting and watching his favorite show and was enjoying it. Meanwhile, Medicine reaches here while transferring from that path. And Wong asks her did any magician send you here through a portal? And she says yes, he has sent me through that way. I come here while saving my life and Wong asks what happened there. She tells I gave six blood drops to someone and he has saved me from the well of burning lava in return. Wong becomes furious hearing this and decides to investigate about the magician. Jennifer and her father are shown and her father brings few cameras, weapons, and a shovel for her protection. He says yesterday night four goons have attacked you due to it, I was worried and had to do something for your protection. Jennifer says father you know I am She-Hulk and like others you also don't know about my power. Don't worry I can protect myself and will make everything normal. Reaching the office, Jennifer was talking to her friend and she asks, Jennifer, what's going on in your life? Aren't you bored with your life? Allow me to create an ID for you on a website to alleviate your boredom. It is site through which people meet with each other and find out their life partner. Meanwhile, Wong arrives and says there is an insane magician who is using a portal without any license. It is illegal and I want to report such people and these wrong acts should be stopped. If this will not stop the dangerous animals and creatures will come to our world, it is dangerous for the humanity. Hearing this, Jennifer asks him do you have any agreement or any kind of paper or notice from the government? On which I can proceed because if we will go in front of the judge without any paper he will not even allow us to stand in the court. Wong says I have nothing like this but I do have witness who can tell that the magician has done all this. He was leaving after saying this but, Jennifer, says give me your name, address at least something this time. On it, Wong gives her a card through magic and says call on this number I will come immediately. Jennifer and her friend were sitting in a bar in the evening and her friend texts many people from Jennifer's cell to meet. None was ready to meet her, seeing it, her friend asks her to make her profile as She-Hulk. Then see how people will come to meet you. She doesn't say or does anything and then the magician is shown in his office Wong and Jennifer were also there. They give him a notice to warn him and say from now on you will not do any kind of magic. Because it may bring a huge danger in the human world and you don't even know it. The magician doesn't obey them and says I can drag you to the court for this. Jennifer says okay then, now I will meet you in the court. Here, Wong and the magician were doing different funny magics with each other. Jennifer goes to meet a boy but after meeting many boys she doesn't meet anyone like her. The next day, the witnesses are called in the court. And the judge tells them if you don't have any proof or witness we will stop this case here. Wong calls medicine here through magic. She says that magician has disappeared me but I reached the place that I can't tell. As I promised someone that I will keep it a secret and will not tell anyone so let it be a secret I can't tell you. Because the judge couldn't understand anything, she adjourned the case until next week. Jennifer was getting bored at home so she changes her profile from Jennifer to She-Hulk. Then it happens the same as her friend said, the boys start sending her messages to meet She-Hulk. The magician is shown in his show and he was about to disappear another girl through that portal. But the girl forbids him to do this and says my friend whom you disappeared the last time didn't come back yet. That's why you can't trap me. Hearing this, the magician opens the portal somewhere else. And a bird comes out of it and lays an egg in that girl's hand. 
As the egg hatches a creature comes out of it and everyone becomes surprised to see this. Then the magician open another huge portal and try to send her inside as the creature was getting bigger. According to the magician everything should be fine but he was thinking wrong. Because many creatures like it come out of the portal into our world and start spreading destruction everywhere. Wong was a magician so this magician has no other way except for taking help from Wong. He calls Wong and Wong has to get in this fight unwillingly. On the other side, she hulk reaches to meet a boy and this time, she meets many boys. Few of them claim we can lift a lot of weight at once, and how much weight can you lift? She claims she can easily lift one or two tons, and she finally likes one of them, a doctor. She hulk takes him home but before they talk Wong arrives and says, Jennifer, I need your help. So come with me hurry up. Wong takes she hulk to the place where the creatures were spreading destruction. Even now the creatures were coming out of the portal one by one, Jennifer asks Wong what I have to do. Wong says I will open another portal and you have to throw them into another world. The special thing was the size of the creature was increasing as they were ending them. Even then Wong makes a magical rope and throws all the creatures to the other world while wrapping them. Then he shuts the portal and after it, Jennifer returns home where the boy was waiting for her. The night appears and the next morning the boy sees Jennifer in her real getup. And thinks who is she? Then he thinks of leaving from there because he only liked She-Hulk. Meanwhile, a man arrives at her door to deliver a notice, and when she opens it, she discovers that a girl has sent it. It was written that I chose the name, She-Hulk, first, which means that this is my name. I have a profile with this name that is also registered.